another little update for you. We've got the bus bars, contrary to popular belief, I'm still doing them. They take a long time, an awfully long time, but I personally reckon that the end will be worth it. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. I've had a new idea, an improvement on the plan if you um, want to call it that. So, I'm starting to move towards the whole completion of this little project. Um, and I went back through and had a look at the, the first video. And budget was none, timeline was none, and everything else. And I, I think I'm well ahead of where I thought I would be. Um, I still got to get about 45, 50 good cells, and then all the battery packs are made, or at least for this round. And I've completed testing over 1,600 cells. Anyway, the reason for this video, right? Um, me packs. I've got to mount them. Um, my engineering mate I've been talking to over the last couple of months uh, has got extremely busy with other business plans, uh, but he's still going to help me on, on the weekend and stuff. So I need to work out how I'm going to get these to sit on the wall. Now, I need a wall. Okay, so let's pretend the side of this computer is a wall. I think that's I think it's very very simple I don't I don't need anything fancy and I was thinking it's needing strapping all the way down or I'd have to take cells out and 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 put some bolts through or something to hold it all on but how's this for simple on the bottom well that's actually the top on the bottom do a plate across there Sort of one, sort of one and a half, or oh, three and a half cells wide, inside of the black area, and then have a little lip where that in between the third and fourth cell there, and then simply weld a plate to a decent bit of steel. I, this is only three kilos, three and a half kilos, so it's not that heavy. So a decent sized bit of plate welded there as the bottom, and that little lip on it, so it'll sit on there and won't fall off like it can't fall off that way. And then all that I need to do is do a, a U-shaped bracket with stainless steel or something over the first two cells. So all that I do is lift it up, put it in, done. It's modular. I can do seven across. Um, it's easy to do. One of the package, if one of the, 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 it's not a cell. I guess it is a cell. Anyways one of these fail I can just simply disconnect the positive and negative from up the top pull it out replace it with a new one positive and negative nice and quick how simple is that now there's a second idea I had now if I had an assistant this would magically disappear but since I don't have an assistant it just magically disappeared that's going to look really corny but we'll include it just for fun Right, the second new idea is the Tesla Powerwall is modular and that there is just a little bit more than 5 kilowatt because this is the good pack with the, with the 2,500 milliamp, um, I think the lower, the lower cell in here is 2,200 milliamp hours. So it's around, it's around five kilowatt hours of, of energy storage in this one pack. The BMS. BMS Crap City. I still have it. I still don't want to use it. I'll probably use it initially just to get it testing and stuff like that, but there is no chance in hell I'm going to use it long term. I'm going to buy a couple more. Uh, I think I put on my Facebook page the other day a really cool looking one that looks it has the aesthetic look that I want. It looks professionally built. Um, it looks well laid out and symmetrical and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to buy three 
of them, and they're 100 amp units. Now, why three? I reckon. Well, it is an Anderson plug, right? Make a bank here with me little racky mount thing, and on a piece of plywood with, you know, you know, if somebody wanted, you could, or a bit of perspex over the top or something, and a few fans along the bottom blowing up, so it creates a thermal chimney, I guess you'd call it, and just make one brick for a battery. Anderson plug. Attach it to the bottom somehow, and then do the same for that one, and just have their own BMSs, so they're a standalone battery. Why wouldn't that work? And I think it's almost better than me. It does render these big bus bars useless, because the whole idea was they run all the way down, and they carry the load. How's this for magic? My beautiful daughter just rocked in. And brought my dinner. And the dog followed in because she could smell it. She's a smart dog. Where was I? Um, should I just make packs? And that brings me to the third BMS. And the fact that I think I may yet get a whole heap of more cells. So I can actually, so this comes into play with the third BMS and I can just build a third one of these packs and go below or a fourth go four and all I've got to do is hook them up with negative and positive because they'll be self-contained my inverters just got it only needs three wires to it a negative a positive and a, um, and a, um, a, a temperature sensor tell me if you think I am crazy no actually don't tell me I'm crazy okay a lot of messages telling me I'm fucking nuts. Tell me if you think this crazy idea will work. It doesn't matter if you've got a bad idea, still put it out there. Because I have changed this idea. I don't know how many times I've changed it, but I've changed it. And I think every time I've changed it, it's either looked better or functioned better or ended up being just a simply better product. So on that note, this is going cold and smells awesome. I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna edit that, and I'm gonna talk to you down there. And if you like my projects, hit that little like button. Because believe it or not, it does help.